Regarding um, ethical approval and DNA, under the Human Tissue Act, the only circumstances where ethical approval is legally required in relation to DNA research is where cellular material from the living um, is stored with the intention of conducting DNA analysis without consent from the person whose body manufactured the DNA. Then ethical approval is required from an NHS rec. Where consent is in place for DNA analysis, no requirement for ethical approval would, would arise. In circumstances where consent to analyse the DNA has only been given for a specific study, then further ethical approval will be needed to be sought to analyse the DNA in further projects. But this could be anticipated by seeking um, broad consent at the outset. Under the research governance systems, ethical approval is not required for the research using anonymised extracted DNA, as the researcher research neither involves uh, tissue or data from NHS patients. Ethics would only be required if identifying data is held with the sample. Researchers using um, anonymised DNA can seek ethical review on a voluntary basis, uh, for example if the funder or the sponsor of the project required this um, as part of their approvals. Regarding extracted DNA um, and RNA samples obtained from healthy volunteers, Ethical approval can be obtained from a UK university rec, providing qualifying consent has been obtained. University recs can also approve um, analysis of DNA and RNA for further projects if the consent has only been sought for a specific project. Where extracted DNA and RNA samples are imported into the UK, a UK rec approval is not required, although appropriate ethical uh, review should be carried out in the source country. For um, DNA banks or genetic databases, uh, voluntary applications can be made for the review um, following the procedures for a research tissue bank application process. Um, and this can actually provide generic approval then for future projects using the identifiable or non-identifiable DNA. The uh, research tissue bank process may be used for any stored biological material. It doesn't have to be relevant material under the Human Tissue Act. Um, and there's a separate presentation regarding research tissue bank applications.